dun, 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 dun. Yeah. You just kind of mellow out for a little bit. You know? Sure. All right. So, Pete Anthony, how are you, bro? Very good. Yeah? Very good. I was looking through the paper. Do you realize there's a a booby bar right near where we live? Yeah. Yeah. You want Huntington. Do you want to go there tonight? I didn't mean that. I just didn't know if you knew. I know. You want to go tonight. I, I Let's check it out. Them. I can't go. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what happened. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean you can't go? I don't know. I think I got plans. Ah, uh, all right. This is what you do. What? I'm going to drop you off a little bit. Yeah. Get in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Works every time, though. Get in a fight, and then we could go to the, the booby bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we'd go this weekend, but I don't know either. Might have planned. Ah. Uh. Something happened. Take I don't know if it's skirt. me. Let me let me let me get this straight. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. When when guys get married, all of a sudden uh, your weekends, you know, you have plans every weekend. Your your weekends disappear basically. I don't know what happened, and and it never comes up. Like I go, yeah, hey, let's go out this weekend. Oh, you can't go out. <laughs> we have plans. <laughs> well, when did we make these plans? <laughs> Maybe I was sitting watching the Yankee game, and some tentative plans were whispered in my ear. Yeah. As I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sunday rolls around. All right, you're scheduled to have your penis removed. <laughs> we talked about it Wednesday. You signed the papers. I, w I did? <laughs> I signed papers to have my penis removed? You signed it. Look, right here. I told you, you never listen to me. <laughs> See? But now I can't even say, all right, maybe this weekend we'll go to uh, the booby bar. You got plans. I probably have plans. Oh. I'm booked until 2003. <laughs> every weekend. No, no, I'm glad. You know, you spend uh, most of your 20s going to weddings. I'm just about yeah. out of wedding hell, finally. With your buddies, yeah. Well, when you're in your 20s, you have two lives. Your, your work life and mm -hmm. your uh, wedding life. Right. Every weekend you have to travel somewhere for someone's wedding. That's true. I had like eight weddings in a row one summer. Ugh. Oh. Weekend after weekend after weekend. It must have cost you what, like 30, 40 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> Pops. Who are you kidding? And you know, it's funny. When you get married in your early 20s, when it's one of your friends get married in, in their early 20s, mm -hmm. and they invite your friends, they don't make out like you do if you wait until they actually get jobs. <laughs> yeah, I'm 21. I'm getting married. Hey, Billy is my best friend since I was two years old. Open up the envelope. <laughs> Uh, there's a note, dude, um, I'm a little strapped, you know, I love you, uh, you know, I hope you and the wife do fine, and the second I get back on my feet, we're going out for a brew. <laughs> like, what, what happened to the $500 check? <laughs> my friends are bums. <laughs> that ain't happening. That's why I waited. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're not going to go to the booby bar tonight? I don't know, like I said, if I don't have plans, we will go. We should... But we, I probably have plans. Ugh. Should we call Jen and see if you're allowed to go to the booby oh, bar? Oh, no. Why? No, we don't want to call Jen. Why? I don't know. I think when I left the house, she was a little miffed at me or something. Why would she be miffed at you? I don't know. There's something going on. I'll get into it at a later date. Actually, when I uh, pulled up today and I came into your house to pick you up today, yeah, I felt a little tension in that house. Was there? I was going to discuss that with you. Yeah, it's something about Thanksgiving plans. I don't know. Now that I live down here, uh, and Jen's mom lived up there, and now, you know how the holiday thing goes when you're married? Mm -hmm. You have to commute every other holiday. It's like odd, even holidays. <laughs> okay, so Thanksgiving, uh, you go up there this year, and the next year you're down here in New York, uh, and then Christmas Eve is... Here and then you go up to Massachusetts. All right, now we're spending New Year's in Guam, uh, and then we're going to Tokyo. I don't know where I'm going, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm dealing with issues, Opie. You are okay. You are. So if we have a uh, plan Saturday. Uh, I won't see you. I could be like your marriage counselor. You want to get Jen on the line? Oh, that's good. Your girlfriend's dating in Massachusetts, <laughs> and you're going to be my marriage counselor. Opie's girlfriend is 200 miles away in Massachusetts dating, and he's going to counsel me. You know, I have to. We'll both be dating. I, I think I have to jump on a plane tomorrow just to make sure my girlfriend isn't screwing anyone. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going up there to see her. I just got to. Wow. Make sure. I got to just make sure that uh, no one else gets. No, you got to check your sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Not your sheets, because those can be washed. Take the sheets off and check the mattress. The mattress? Feel around. <laughs> if you're feeling, it's like, all right, let me. Let me. <laughs> oh, honey, what have you been up to? 
This isn't a hairball from the cat. <laughs> Right on. 1027 WNEW, where Rock lives, Dire Straits, Lady Rider. It's OP, it's Anthony. Got to hey. say hi to everyone on their way to the Buffett Show tonight, or if you're in the parking lot already partying and cranking out any W. Hey, what's up? How are you? All right. What's going on? So, we're not allowed to go to the booby bar tonight, Anthony? I, I don't, I think I have, might have plans. I, I, I don't have a clue. And, and you think That's you have plans all this weekend, what? so me and you can't hang out this weekend? When you're in a relationship, when you're married, uh, for some reason, uh, a guy's free time uh -huh. gets dwindled down. Okay. And you have things called plans oh, okay. that are made uh, with little uh, or no knowledge to yourself. Oh, great. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Well, the listeners want to know what the real problem is. <laughs> You were touching on something last break, and uh, nothing gets over the listeners' heads. They're like, make Anthony explain what the problem is with this Thanksgiving thing. All right. All right. Oh, boy. Well, we, we had a little, a little tension in the relationship this morning. I noticed Andrew. that when I picked you up for work. All right. A little, little tension. Yeah. Uh, it seems that for Thanksgiving this year, I have to uh, drive up to Massachusetts for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving with Jen's mom, because mm -hmm. it's uh, her year. We alternate years with holidays. My married people know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I, I get back in the truck, uh, and me and Jen and Jen's mom and uh, Jen's mom's aunt uh, drive down to New York to go see the Radio City uh, a Christmas show. Okay, that sounds like a lovely thing to do. It's, it's going to cost me a fortune. Oh, you got to pay for this whole thing? Well, yeah. What do you got to pay for? Like everything. The tickets. Yeah, and then it's like... Hotels. Know, I mean, I, I love them and all, but... You know, Annie Marg's a little old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be getting from, you know, street to street very quickly. <laughs> let's just say. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? So, and you just don't want to hang out with them for four days? Is that I, it? What? You don't want to hang out with family members, Anthony, for four days? Can I plead the fifth? <laughs> I would like to plead the fifth on this issue. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> so you can't afford this uh, lovely Thanksgiving thing that your wife has planned, right? Yeah. Is what that you... what you're saying, Anthony? What do you think? Well, they're not worth it? or They hired us for um, <laughs> millions of dollars here at NEW? <laughs> Please. All right, so you're on a budget? Yeah. All right. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Rick is giving me the sign that your wife's in my Oh, no. Yay. Oh, come on. Hi, honey. Hi. Hey, what's up? Nothing. What's up? How you doing? Fine. How are you? How was your day? My day was lovely. Did you get a job? Not yet. Are you still looking? Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to talk. Opie, Opie detected some... Uh, some tension. Some tension when he, he came he in. He was in the house for all of 30 seconds. It didn't take long. <laughs> That's all it took. <laughs> oh, now, come on. We weren't fighting. No. I told you I wasn't going to have a conversation with you. I didn't want to fight. <laughs> you <laughs> stop giggling back there. Now, could, could you... At least I'm not dating, okay? Could you... <laughs> at least she's not dating, Opie. Could you explain the situation? Um, sure. Okay. Um, we will stop laughing, Hope. It's not funny. All right. Um, no, we're going up to Massachusetts for Thanksgiving. Okay. And then we're going to drive back down on Friday. All right. And my mom and my aunt are going to come back down with us. Okay. And spend the weekend with us down here. And uh, on Sunday, we're going to go to Radio City Music Hall. To see all, the Christmas show. And all, Christmas show. And in all honesty, that sounds like a lovely time. Isn't that nice? Oh, be shut up. Ask, ask Anthony if he wigged out or not when I told him. I didn't wig out at the plans. Uh -huh. Do you know what four people to the Radio City Christmas show costs? It's like eight billion dollars. Eight billion dollars? To see a guy in a Santa suit and some crapping goats and llamas. <laughs> and the kick line girls that, oh, they look good from 20 rows back because they're all about 60 years old now. Well, that's good because we're like... 25 throws back. Well, we have to, because Annie Mark is blind. Well, now stop that. We could just put a video of the thing and sit her in front of a big screen TV. No, that's not It'll be fair. a lot cheaper. <laughs> I love Annie Mark, but you... <laughs> we went over to the house one night with a bottle of Dom Perignon before we left. <laughs> It might as well have been Cooley. <laughs> she didn't even know it was Dom. I thought I was doing this real cool thing. 
I guess Tom doesn't have the same effect after eight scotches. Oh, no, no, stop that. You'll be nice. And second of all, she didn't ask. And what were you supposed to do? Wave it in front of her face and go, oh, look, I brought a bottle of Dom over? No, I guess it tasted like Boone's Farm apple oh. wine. Oh. Oh. So, so now now they're coming down Friday. Where are they staying till Sunday? I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't spoken to Mom yet. Oh, maybe we'll just put them up in, at the Ritz in okay. New York. Sure. Might as well just to. jack the whole fee up to a couple of grand. Might as well. Sounds like a great plan, honey. Can we stay there, too? <laughs> <laughs> we could just buy a couple of beds and keep them in the house for cheaper. No, we've got the cats. Well, who's allergic to cats? Annie Mark. She made it 90 years <laughs> allergic to cats? Yes. How old is Annie Marjorie? Really? Um, she's 78, I think. 78. 78. I'm spending my Thanksgiving weekend in New York City with a 78-year-old woman. <laughs> Woohoo! Party time! You are so lucky she can't hear you. <laughs> If she was here, she couldn't hear me. No, stop that. Hey, <laughs> what, Opie? You're going to spend the weekend walking around the block with her. <laughs> Doing what? It's going to take the weekend just to walk around the block <gasps> with her, Opie. You people are very cruel. That's very nice. Cruel? Yeah. $2,000 worth of cruel. <laughs> Who said anything about $2,000? Yeah, what do you think this weekend's going to cost me? Well, you got plenty of time to save up for it. I, that's what you're working I for. I know now. that's what that's what I'm going to get a job for, so I can save up so my mother and my aunt can have a nice little weekend in the city. What in the year 2000? <laughs> Where are you going to work, flash dancer? Jesus. <laughs> 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 anyway, I was calling to tell you we have no plans this evening. We have none all weekend. You can. Go down to the titty bar tonight and stay there until Sunday. I don't care. Woo! No, okay. no, that's the I don't care. That means I really care. No, and that you're doesn't. screwed after that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Jay, we'll all go. Okay. Yeah, I, you, I'll buy you a lap dance, hon. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be home by 8. Okay. All right. I'll cool. see you later, huh? Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there, it's all out in the open. Cool. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. The Brian Setzer Orchestra, Woo. Jump Jive and Well, uh, recorded live in the Imaginary Ballroom.